I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This doesn't even look like our house. Are you Whoa. kidding me? <laughs> give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend, I'm helping out a couple with their finished basement. They're looking for the ultimate gaming and entertaining space. The couple said that they want something kind of outside of the box, and they're willing to go a little bit bold with their design. Well, they called the right girl. I am so excited about some of the crazy and unique ideas I have planned for this space. All right, this is the basement. As you can see, we haven't done much to it. It's pretty basic. This was supposed to be Plain. Keith's project and he <laughs> hasn't gotten very far I with started. it. Well, I do have a beautiful TV. <laughs> so this is... That is maybe the biggest TV I've ever seen in real life. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it because she doesn't. She... I, I didn't necessarily say I appreciate it. I said it was huge. <laughs> Hi, I'm Cody. And I'm Keith. And we're so excited Monica's here to redo our basement. So neither of us are handy at all. Um, I thought I was, but I got here and obviously it hasn't gone the way I thought it was going to. So we're excited to work with Monica and for her to help us out. So this is kind of your space, but you want to make it a little bit more friendly for you too. Definitely. Okay. And for when we have guests over, this is where we kind of come and hang out. Okay. So man cave, but also an entertaining space? Definitely. Okay. So he's a big gamer and I am not, and I wanted a space that you know I can entertain and feel comfortable in as well. So I mostly like to go in the basement to play Xbox. I like to play my Madden, I like to play my Call of Duty down there. So we like to get a space where we can kind of integrate both and have people over and still have Cody to be able to come over with her friends. All right, so I know that you want to use this space for gaming, but as far as what you're looking for down here, kind of talk to me style-wise and what you'd like. Well, I just want to make it a little bit more inviting. I have the white and just no decor down here. It's like sure. kind of like, oh, I don't really want to be down here. Yeah. I feel like sometimes when I take over spaces, they're very girly and okay. completely not what he's <laughs> looking for. Definitely. So that's where I feel like we've struggled with trying to find something to do down here. Well, it's cool because this is not on the main level of your home, and so it doesn't necessarily need to flow perfectly with the other rooms. So we can get a little more funky, have a little more fun. Yeah. And I'm gonna be really careful not to go too man cave, but not to go too like glamalicious on us either. Yeah. I think we can find a space in the middle that's very, very cool and super great for entertaining and gaming. Sounds good? Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, so I need to grab Jason. The first thing we need to do is get everything out of here. So we'll clear the whole space and then we'll get started on our first project. All right. Sound Sounds good? Sounds Ready? good. Cool. Okay, got some pillows. All right. Yeah, it's grab the heavy stuff, buddy. One tricky thing is this weekend, I need to make sure that I'm kind of bringing together both of their desires for the space. And so at the end of the weekend, they're both incredibly in love with this new room. It's the last time you're gonna see that TV down here. <laughs> All right, ready to start transforming this space? Yes. Quickest and easiest way is gonna be with paint. Gotcha. All right, you're tired of these white walls? Yes. <laughs> okay. So we are not gonna be painting all of the walls, just okay. some of them. So the big wall over there, no paint needed. I have something else in mind for that. Okay. So this is really gonna start the transformation process. You good? Anyone nervous? Um, no. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> you're a little nervous. No, <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. Dramatic transformation coming your way. Oh. Black, I guess, I guess that. <laughs> you were thinking that? I, kind of. I'm just throwing that out there. Here's the thing we are not painting all of your walls black, okay? okay. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I might, I actually might, but I just don't happen to be doing that to you. And you have a lot of natural light in here. You have it from both sides, so mm -hmm. it can handle a dramatic color like this, okay? Trust in me? I do. <laughs> We're starting off with something pretty dramatic and drastic, but you guys said you wanted like fun and funky and yeah. out of the box. We, we are, do. We're up for it. You're up for it. I think you're gonna love it in the end. So, um, have you guys done much in the way of painting DIY? How's no. our skill level? Uh, a one. On a scale. A one. <laughs> what scale are we working on? Hopefully, one like a one to two. <laughs> one to ten. 
<laughs> I think I'm a pretty good painter. Okay, pretty good painter. Well, I'll just go over a couple things with you. So I taped the baseboard, used a really good painter's tape, and then a couple of key things to getting like a pro paint finish is using a really good paintbrush. So one of us will work on cutting the edges, all right? And I have like a two inch angled brush. This, I really like a brush that has an angle because it allows you to cut in really neatly, but I still taped it off for you. So it's kind of like bumpers when you're bowling, like just, you know, <laughs> a little cushion. Are we ready for this? We are ready. We're ready. On the count of three? All right. Three, two, two one, yes! Oh my God. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it too. I like it. Something very different. Super different. Very different. The key for this black paint to work with my design is that we're not gonna put it on every wall, just half of the room. I really don't want the space to feel like a cave, so I've got a great idea for the other half of the room that will be something that's lighter and add some texture. We'll get to that later today. While Keith finishes painting, Cody and I are going to get started on our first big build of the weekend. If there's one theme for this weekend, it's plywood. So many of my projects are involving plywood, lots and lots of plywood. All right, let's turn this over. All right, slide it back a bit. Okay, so we built the rectangle. And I know I didn't tell you what we're building it for, but now I'm ready to. So this is gonna be your new media unit, and I feel like it really embodies what we're going for in this entire basement. Half is gonna be dedicated to video gaming, half is gonna be dedicated to entertaining and style. I love it. Okay, so a lot of these things that we cut are actually functional pieces that are gonna go in here. So for example, this little guy is our divider. All right, it's gonna slide in here. So okay. the first step we'll do is attaching this divide here, and we'll do that with our nail gun, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna nail straight down. All right, we're officially divided. Keith's side, Cody's side, okay? Okay. So what we also cut are shelves. So we're gonna put two shelves in here where he can put the consoles. And what we'll do is we'll nail one side and then the other. When we get this into the room, I'll also bring a little drill bit and we can drill a spot for the cords once we see kind of where they're gonna come out of. Okay. But this is where I think is really the fun begins. So I bought these light strips. Well, I thought it would be super cool if in here his gaming areas were lit and it even comes with a remote control Jeez. so that he can like totally choose his colors. He's gonna love it. He, he loves does. lights. Does he? <laughs> yes. I was doing like a little bit of research about gamers and it seemed like everybody was like 10 times cooler if their console was lit. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so we can go to like all different colors. We can get our blue shades in here and they can go off and on. We can do like a quick pulse. We can do oh, so he's many have different so colors. Much fun with this. Okay, to install this, we're actually going to use Velcro strips. Ooh, that already looks so freaking cool. So, this gives you the idea. What do you think? I love it. He's going to love it. When we get in the house, I think where it's a little bit warmer, we'll finish putting all of these up. I'm just a little hesitant to use the Velcro out here where it's so cold. So, this piece here, the larger piece we cut, is actually a sliding door. Okay, so you know how we used that router and made a little beveled area? Yeah. And we did it on the top and the bottom. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna allow this door to, to slide. slide and hide, okay? And then slide it. So now we have this cool modern media cabinet that you'd have no idea there's gaming stuff. And yes. my idea for here is we're gonna leave that completely open and shelfless. And I bought some really cool accessories that can go in there awesome. and it can look great. It's kind of a pretty great yeah. combo, right? Yeah. So for the last part of the build, I wanna add some simple legs underneath. I'm gonna put two of these pieces together. So to do that, all we'll need to do is put a little bit of wood glue in here and I'm gonna nail down straight through these. All right, so we're gonna take our legs here. I'm gonna give you one. And I've marked where it's going. So we're always gonna go on the side that doesn't have the X. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this. And we're gonna go through kind of from the other side with a few screws, but this will kind of hold it on to okay. start with. You can really tell how the legs kind of finish it, right? Definitely. Lift it up off the ground. Do you think Keith is gonna like it? He's gonna love it and I love it. Oh good, I'm so glad because I mean, half of this is for you completely. And I know that your side looks a little empty right now, but I promise I got you some great stuff. I trust you and I'm excited. <laughs> Last sheet. So you gotta be wondering what we're doing with all this plywood we just carried I, in. I, it's a lot of plywood. It's a lot of plywood. Definitely. Any guesses? 
I don't know. <laughs> I'm trusting that you have a great idea though, so. I do, I do. <laughs> so we painted half of the walls. They look great now that they've dried up. We did a good job on that. We are gonna do a project on the plain walls here. Okay. Okay? We're actually going to give you plywood walls. I like it. You like it? I like it. That's quick like and easy. It. I like it. I <laughs> I feel like the combination of the black and the wood texture is gonna be really cool. It can have like a cool modern, like hip edge to it, but also be like man cave friendly. I'm okay. Good. So we're gonna put this plywood up and Jay picked out kind of a specific plywood that's gonna make our lives a lot easier. Wanna tell him about it? So we picked quarter inch oak plywood. It's nice and smooth, has a nice finish to it. Um, and you can see there's a piece of three quarter here that we're using for our table, but we don't need to kill ourselves putting this on the wall. This is gonna look just like plywood. There are a bunch of different types of plywood running all the way from like a subfloor, which is really, really rough to a really nice finished grade plywood. This weekend in all the projects that I'm tackling, I'm using the more finished grade plywood. I don't wanna have to spend a ton of time sanding and edging and bonding and things like that. So all of these are pre-cut to the size that we need them. And there may be a little gapping, but it's cool because trim's gonna go over it at the end. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is get this up on the wall temporarily, and then I'm gonna show you my detailing. We're just gonna tack this in so it stays in place and we keep lining them up. I've got a technique that I need to have all the wood up so I can figure out my lines and keep everything straight. And then we gotta take it off the wall, do the technique, put it back up. All right, so phase one is up. What are you, how are you feeling about it? What do you think? I'm feeling good. I, I, I think it looks definitely way different than it did before, so I can't imagine what it's gonna look like after we finish. Yeah, so now is where we're gonna add the detailing. What I wanna do is actually use a router, okay? A router kind of bevels into wood. We're gonna use it for detailing, okay? okay? So what I wanna do is snap a chalk line across the entire wall and also on some verticals so that we'll have some really cool detailing in okay. it. And then take the pieces down one at a time, use the router, then we're gonna go in and fill those grooves in with black paint. Okay, so here's where we're gonna be routing. Okay. Okay, and it's the darker line. Darker line yeah. Okay, so we're gonna clamp this rip guide. It just will basically give us a straight line to work against, okay. two and three quarters up. This router is gonna cut into the wood, but not cut through it. Okay. Especially since we only got the quarter inch, we're gonna set it so that the bit is kind of held up. Just enough so it makes detailing and creates a routed area for us, yep. but doesn't go through the wood. You'll see too that like the router, there's a little bit of kind of rough edges there. Uh -huh. so let's take a little sandpaper, trims it right up. So the tape kind of prepped us for our last step, which okay. is painting where we use the router and making it have some emphasis. It's gonna tie together the black walls. Okay. But here's the thing, if this looks sloppy, then I mean, all of our work getting our lines perfect and routing perfectly would be ruined. So we're using some really good painter's tape here and that's why we took it just to the edge so that none of it gets on here. Oh, look at that, crisp line action. Oh, she's flexible. So basically, this is how we're transforming our plywood. Looks pretty different, right? Very cool. Very you like cool. it? I, I'm feeling it. You're feeling, I'm it? feeling it? Good. Well, we gotta keep feeling it because we need to finish all these. So uh -huh. we'll kind of divide and conquer. We'll, mm -hmm. we'll route, we'll tape, we'll paint, pop it up, and just work our way down. Sounds good. Okay. So this morning I had Jay get started right away okay. and he's working with? A big old box. A big old box of plywood. Yes. <laughs> We're working with it again. Told you it was kind of going to be a theme throughout the room. Hopefully you're not sick of it after yesterday. No. You seem to be a big fan I'm of it. I'm going with the theme. All right, cool. Any idea what we're doing? Um, I'm confused, but <laughs> I, 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 it's so, got to be some type of bar. Yes, yeah. some type of bar, yeah, totally. So right now it's a little confusing because I have it up on the sawhorses, okay. but this is gonna be your new bar area. Nice. Okay, I feel like you get your gaming area, we'll have the couch, yeah. and then over on the other side, there's just so much open room. Yeah. And I feel like a bar is perfect for entertaining. Here, I'll show you around the other side. So this is the front side that you'll see, but over here, 
this is kind of where your tent bar. So gotcha. we're gonna put a shelf going along here so you can have all your drinks, all your supplies and everything tucked away back here. Okay. And I know it looks super high, but we, we built it to bar height 42. All right. All right, so the structure, you kind of get the, the whole idea of it. Yep. What we need to work on is kind of fancying it up a little bit okay. now. So we cut um, some of these and they're gonna be vertical. So they're gonna divide up this big rectangle okay. into like smaller rectangles. So you can see my lines there. Yep. Pop them on the lines and it's gonna divide into four compartments. The next thing I wanna do is take pieces and put them at a diagonal okay. that'll run from corner to corner all the way up and really kind of just create a little bit more visual interest. Very cool. So we'll start by attaching these. We'll go over to the saw, figure out our angle, and then pop those in. All right, so we have our verticals. Now we have to figure out the angled pieces. A little trick on how we can do this. I want them to go this direction. Okay. And then what I can do is take my pencil here right at the 90. What I'm marking is the front of the board where it hits the corner okay. and the back of the board where it hits the edge gotcha. because that's how I want the wood to lay. Okay. So now when we take this down, where these two lines are, that's gonna be my angle. Gotcha. So we'll go over to the saw and see what that angle is. Okay. And then we know at the bottom what it needs to be on every single one. So if I were here, the blade's straight, mm -hmm. right? As I start turning this, the angle's changing. Yes. All the way over is 31 and a half. That looks pretty good. And if that's, the cool thing about this trick is if that's, that's the bottom angle, it's gonna be our top one there too, based on how we spread this out. Gotcha. So let's cut one of these just as a test okay. and place it in and make sure that we're good. All right, so now we can check and see. That'll yes. fit nicely in here, right against there. Gotcha. And we'll cut this end at the same exact angle. We'll see, moment of truth. Like a glove. Nice, right? Nice. That's where it paid off to figure out our angle ahead of time. Okay. It's a pretty cool looking bar, right? Very cool, very Wanna cool. Wanna know a secret? What? I kind of checked out like a whole bunch of like coffee shops. Uh -huh. I feel like coffee shops have the cooler bars yes. than bars do. So I was very thinking, true. so this isn't a coffee bar, but yeah. that's kind of where I got the idea for just playing up with the wood a little bit. Definitely, so definitely now what we off. need to do, I picked up these casters, little wheels that can go on the bottom of this bar. My thought was this, when you're entertaining, it'll be smart to slide this out from the wall, but when you're just hanging out, when it's pushed against the wall, it'll kind of look almost like a piece of furniture, give you a little more space. This is the main look of it, but like we did on the walls, I do want to bring in a little bit of the black paint. I feel like yeah. that's kind of the unifying factor throughout, but I want it to be a bit of a surprise for you because we've already kind of seen a lot of this bar. So uh -huh. I'm going to finish that up and you have to wait till the reveal to kind of see how it is all dressed up. Sounds good. All right, cool. Yeah. So Jason and I are gonna work together on our last project. It's a little bit crafty, a little bit different than the norm, mm -hmm. but we had so much plywood scraps that I wanted to come up with a project that we could kind of use the scrap and make it really, really cool. So we are going to actually create kind of a lighting accent. Is that what you call it? Yeah. That's what I call yeah, it's it. It's gonna be cool. <laughs> All right. So normally with recessed lights, the idea is that you want them to be low profile. You don't really want to see them. We're gonna flip that on its head and make it so that you emphasize the lights over in the bar area. And the reason I want to do that is this is a really big open space and we're gonna have the bar, but I think it would make sense to also have the lighting kind of define that space a little bit too. So the first step that that we need to do is to take the, this is called the can. Uh, that's part of the trim kit. Okay, yeah. so that's his way of saying it is not called a can. <laughs> the can is a toilet, but <laughs> I feel like it's a light can, light kit, can. It's, part, right. it's part of the recess light. You're just way too nice. You can be like, dummy, it's called the, what am I calling this? You, yeah, call, call it part of the trim kit. The trim kit, trim kit, okay. So yeah. this is part of the recess lighting trim kit. And we're gonna use this size here to create a template to cut out a hole in the plywood. And then we know how many inches down was the next light? Eight. So what we have now are the templates and we're gonna use a jigsaw to cut those out. You wanna drill down into the hole first so that you can have a place to start your blade. Ooh, there you go. One cool thing about this is that there's going to be the little trim rim going around the edge, so it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. So you have a little bit of flexibility in there. 
All right, so we have our two holes and now I wanna kind of dress this plywood up to look like the walls and the other accenting we've done. So we're gonna use the router, same exact process that we did on the walls and just add a little bit of accent detailing to this. I mean, I'm maybe a little bit obsessed with routing plywood right now, I can admit that, but it Just makes a little. such a quick impact and it's gonna look really, really cool. Mm -hmm. It takes it, I mean, would that take you 25 seconds? Okay, the last step is to add the black paint accent so that it really ties in with what we did for the walls. All right, so the build is done and now we're gonna install this inside and I have a pretty cool surprise for the lighting. How good of a dancer are you? I'm gonna tear up that dance floor. <laughs> Just wait and see. They're like, wait, lighting? Lighting, Dancing? dance floor, what? Okay, so we're gonna use some nails to attach this into the ceiling, but we also need to have some adhesive so that because of the large surface area, so that the whole thing is completely flush. So Jay's using an adhesive that's liquid nails intended for paneling. Okay. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> And, and if we get close over that hole, we're in good I'll shape. Come my way. No, that's good. Yeah, if your hole's pretty much centered, then we're... My hole's centered. All right, let's put a couple... You're taller. <laughs> I can't totally reach. I can a little. Should've got you a ladder. No. Just short enough that it isn't convenient. Even though we have low ceilings in here, this plywood allowed us to emphasize the recessed lights. So we didn't really bring the ceiling down at all. There's nothing hanging, but visually it totally draws your eye up. And we're not gonna stop there. You wanna put the little face pieces on while I get the bulb? Sure. So the trim kit here is hiding the rough cut edge from the saw. So that's why we didn't really have to worry about it. It looks nice and finished. Okay, so this might just look like a light bulb, but it's so much more. It's actually a Bluetooth speaker. You can see it here. And it lights up to like 50 different colors and can pulse to music that's on your cell phone. I felt like that would totally be something that Keith and Cody are into, mm -hmm. especially since they want this to have like a real party vibe down here. Yeah. And so I had honestly never even heard of these light bulbs before, but I was really excited to try them out. It's a jamming light bulb, it's, for sure. It's a jamming light bulb. Yeah. So the coolest thing about this is that it looks like just a normal everyday light bulb until you start playing around with the app as well. And you can create all different colors and pulses and it also syncs to the music that you already have on your phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So clearly you can see that these light bulbs turn regular everyday moments into an absolute dance party, Ooh. at least for Jason. <laughs> so I am just, I think they are going to love these. All right, dance party can resume later, but we gotta finish up this space. Okay, so put some music on so we, <laughs> while we finish. No, you get all distracted. <laughs> Well, I'm hoping that this is the basement of both of your dreams. So on the count of three, you can open. One, two, three, open your eyes. Oh my gosh. It does not even look the same. You killed it. Well, you guys helped. I love it. That's awesome. Oh my God, it's so good. What do you think of the walls? Because you haven't seen these. I wasn't sure like what they were like I was worried about the black but this is it offsets the black perfectly. I yeah. Love it. it looks we're, so good. Where are we at? <laughs> you are at the I, new entertaining yes. party gaming place. And I gotta <laughs> look over here because <laughs> Look at this. It is this is awesome. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> what? Oh, I love lights. Oh my god, we're gonna oh this is great. Tell me this changes color. Oh, of course it oh does. Oh my god, Are you kidding this me? is awesome. <laughs> Look at that. What? I told you, he loves lights. <laughs> oh, I'm in the dark all the time. I don't even need no lights down here. No, now you can just totally this is, have this lit. So, this great. Cody helped me build this, and what I love about this piece is that this side is all you. It's yeah. gaming, it's lit, it's amazing. But then, when you're entertaining and you have people over, nice. this is Cody. Sophisticated it. and girly and wonderful. Nice. I love it. So we kind of talked about two zones, gaming, hanging out, and then entertaining. And the bar and the bar area, what do you think? I love it. it that looks so awesome. 
I mean, the, the black beams in the front came out great. Yeah. Oh, you knew about this? So he helped I, me build, build this. <laughs> I built that. That looks awesome. That's my work right there. <laughs> yes, I'm work. impressed. This is the most plywood I've ever used in a makeover ever. <laughs> like I just, it, but it doesn't feel like it. Like no. all the pieces go together, the walls, so it's not overwhelming. No, not at all. I love it. Do you feel like this is a space that you guys will entertain in, hang out in, like not be embarrassed to have people over? No, we'll be in this space all the time. I don't think we'll ever go upstairs. No, ever. <laughs> like I, definitely the party is going down right here. <laughs> So this it. is gonna work for the guys hanging out? It is, I mean, we got LED lights, we got <laughs> chairs, we got, I mean, we got a bar. What else can we ask for? Is it gonna work for the ladies? Definitely, it looks so great. They're gonna love it. And you know what? The ladies can can get down with the LED lights too. Oh it's okay. yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm totally into those. It's, it's a mood setter. <laughs> mood setter. Speaking of mood setters, I got more to show you oh. guys. Do you wanna come over here? All right. Over here, I kind of focused really on entertaining for this, so. What? Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh. Wow. So, I mean, you have is. a big bar. This is an eight foot bar. Wow. And you have plenty of space for it. This is, we never have to go upstairs. Never. <laughs> like, we're never leaving <laughs> down here. Look, look at this. Look at this bridge. Look at Isn't that cool? I love it. Bridge. It looks so good. So awesome. And what's cool about this bar is that we built it and put it on wheels. So when you guys aren't hosting anyone, you can push it flush against the wall and it just kind of tucks in and will look like a cool piece of furniture. That's so awesome, I love it. Wanna know what my favorite part is? What? Okay, look up at the ceiling. Okay, so you don't <laughs> usually emphasize recessed lights, but uh. you do when they do this. So check this out, look at this. I can change the colors oh, wow. over here from the phone that comes with an app, okay? <laughs> but wait, there's more, you can even what? Oh, oh man. He's in heaven right now. Oh, this is, this is awesome. This, this is crazy. Nighttime around here is really lit. So we're gonna... Literally lit yes, now. Literally, so well, I think if you're saying this place is lit, then the only thing that's left is for you to lead the dance party. Guys, well, that was a fun weekender makeover. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I would love to know what you think of this room, so leave me a comment below. And don't forget about the weekender behind the design. It's our mini series where I'm answering all the questions you might have about this episode. Leave any questions below and be sure to check out that video as well. And as always, make sure you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't want to miss a single episode of the weekender.